from the deposits of the Orange River or the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. In this case, we're talking uh, about the uh, 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 area between uh, Goodhouse and uh, Witbank. Uh, Witbank, of course, in the Northern Cape province, not the Witbank in Mapumalanga. Here we have, to an extent, uh, quartz uh, with hematite inclusions, uh, to an extent, quartz with hematite coating, and quartz in various stages of oxidation going into girthite. Size wise, we're looking at a healthy hand size, so a very big hand size, elongated hand size. Just want to give you a closer focus on some of the crystals. Uh, phantoming in the crystals. On closer inspection, you'll see it's actually a second generation of quartz, which grew over the original generation of quartz. Uh, hence, almost a white phantom, which is interesting. So, at the time of the sec second generation forming, there, there seem to be have been no uh, hematoid impurities uh, on top of the original crystal. Hence, the whiteness. Um, from a display point of view, I quite like this angle where you're walking into this almost little centuries of quartz um, uh, leading you into this, this whole section. Of course, uh, also could be displayed on the turntable going all the way around. Have a look at the reflections to give you an indication of the uh, uh, crystal form. Lots happening on here. Very dark piece though, but very, very interesting and full of uh, hematite come girthite uh, coating on the, on the quartzes. On the matrix, we'd have a little bit of feldspar too, a little bit of rough crystallization on the back, but rather unappealing uh, to me at least. Uh, so the fruity section would be where we see the lovely crystals uh, uh, jumping out of the main ore or the, the, the quartz matrix.